Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, and we are bringing to you a man who needs no introduction, a man who you all know from- Absolutely. You you better you better know him, and we had the privilege of meeting this young man through an improvisation class that me and Jonas both attended. The man, the myth, the legend, the half sexer of all different types of models and and musical stars. He dated Halsey. His name is Good Bunny. Good <laughs> fucking Bunny. Good bunny. Look up <laughs> what is up, guys? Google it. Yeah, what's up? Not much, man. Thank you for joining us on the uh, Crazy uh, Town Podcast. Thank y'all for having me. This is my uh, first uh, podcast, I guess. Yeah. Well, don't I'm fuck invited. it up. I know. I'm nervous. You back ever again, dude? How, how <laughs> are you dealing with the Halsey breakup? Everybody wants to know. You know, it's been hard. I mean, I guess the good thing is. Uh, I know I'm better than the other white kid. g Is that who she dated? <laughs> yeah. Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. yeah. I get them all confused. That should be one of our topics today. White rappers. g <laughs> oh, NF. Wow. All right. Bringing the, bring the heat immediately. So anyways, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us on the Crazy Town later. Podcast. Racial Whether you're joining us live, uh, live, uh, audio <laughs> only on Spotify, iTunes, you know, SoundCloud, all that stuff, or you're watching on a YouTube channel, go to thecrazytown.com. It'll take you right to your YouTube, YouTube channel. You can subscribe, like, love, share, all that ish. And uh, yeah, how's everybody been doing? Been doing good, man. Trying to stay sane during this pandemic, you know. But I guess I got vaccinated or I got my first shot, getting my second shot this oh, Wednesday. Congratulations, sir. Oh, yeah. Still, Hell I'm yeah. still on the lookout for mine. Now you can uh now you can start licking the doorknobs at the grocery store again, dude. Exactly. I can start <laughs> licking my fingers and putting them inside bowling balls again. It's great. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> 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 Antoine, wait, hold up. He said he still hasn't gotten his. I thought you were like a frontline worker or a healthcare now, well, worker. Well, look, man, you know, I hesitated because i didn't want to get blood clots yeah don't get the johnson okay so, then looks like yeah. i did the right thing by yeah waiting. yeah so, so i actually saw this well i don't know i saw this like uh post on instagram or something but like my doctor friends were sharing it that like you can get you're more likely to get a blood clot from like taking birth control pills or some shit yeah, than yeah, you yeah, will yeah, from yeah. like that so. Yeah. First off, your doctor friends look at <laughs> look at Good Bunny on the podcast name dropping. He's like all the doctors I hang out with on the back on the back end. You know they're 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 telling spoke, me about the clock. He spoke with Halsey's gynecologist. <laughs> 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 exactly. exactly. So, all right, let's let's get right into it. So, I brought a story. The first story I got to talk about today comes from the good old state of Texas. So, uh, you know, have you guys ever been to a bar and then like all of a sudden they're like, hey. Don't go swimming in that water. There's gators in there. Have you ever, have you ever had that happen? I've never gone to a bar to go swimming. <laughs> Nobody does that. Yeah, I think if do, I was right? in Florida. one bar you've been to where they had a pool. Uh, the Holiday Inn. That's not a bar. That's a hotel. They have a bar at the Holiday Inn, and there's a Just hotel. Just because they have a bar and a hotel doesn't mean it's a bar with a pool. I Wait, don't know. This is somewhere bad. in Austin, there's like a rooftop pool with a bar here, isn't there, Pablo? Don't you know? I know you're downtown at the bars at the at the Holiday Inn Express. I do. I do be seeing. Yeah, there's a lot of rooftop hotel bars. So do they? I, do they have pools? Yes. Sure. So. <laughs> anyway, he's like actually right out back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh right. you Any, mean this? Uh... Is that a Peloton, by the way? I just want to ask if that's a Peloton. Oh, is that a Peloton? Oh, it is a Peloton. <laughs> it is. Oh, it look is. at you. What's your favorite teacher? Um, who is my favorite teacher? I would say Alex Toussaint. He's like the okay. hip-hop instructor. All right. Well, let's, let's, yeah. Al <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little hard for him to go live anymore, but you know. Antoine, 10 years, 10 years from now, people are going to be watching this, and I'm going to be canceled. Because <laughs> Antoine's going to make me say things on this podcast. Oh, I shouldn't. Anti Dynamite's going to make you say things. It's going to get you. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. Yes. Anti Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so this guy, he's, he, this is a bar he always goes to. This happened in 
I think it's an orange Texas, which is out by Beaumont or Houston, out that area. Sure. So he, he goes there all the time and he's like, I want to take a little bit of a dip in the water. And they're like, there, we saw a big ass gator. You shouldn't do that. Can you guess what this man said? I'll show you. He said, I'll show you exactly what he said. I ain't afraid of no ghosts or gators. Nope. He said, fuck that gator and jumped in the water. Hell yeah, man. Fuck and that gator. as you can see from the scrolling things on the screen, alligator one, Texan zero. He, he uh, die? he got killed by the gator. What? Absolutely. This happened back in July in 2015. This oh. is a picture of the man. He looks like the type of guy that would jump into no. the water with a gator. Yeah, he looks like a fuck that gator type of guy. Do you notice that in two of the shirts he has on, two of the pictures he has on the same shirt, this guy has <laughs> a beer with fingers, like the fingers pointing at him? Yeah. Oh, man. Are we really laughing at, de at a dead man right I now? I mean, <laughs> we're laughing at his death. We're, I mean, it's more of his stupidity than anything else. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, oh he, uh, oh, fuck that gator. He, he yells, fuck that gator, jumps in the water, and uh, with it almost said almost immediately, he was pulled under. And he came up, and then he got pulled down again, and that was it. They never saw him again. And uh, they ended up killing the gator. They pulled it out and shot it. So not what? that, like, like that you know, I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm so tired of oh, yeah? killing fucking animals when the animal acts like an animal. That gator acted like a gator. That idiot jumped in there <laughs> and they blamed the gator. So your defense is gator's gonna gator. <laughs> yeah. This is this is called natural selection, all right? The gator <laughs> is gonna eat you if you jump in the water with it. He was warned. The gator did exactly what he was supposed to do. He, as a human being, didn't do what a human was supposed to do, which was self-preservation. That should be the number one thing on your mind. I just want to say. Harambe deserve better. All right. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. This this man gets it. This well, man yeah. right here, he gets it. I get I get your it. point, man. Because like if you jump into the polar bear tank at the zoo and the polar bears eat you, you had a warning. There's like, hey, there's polar bears at the zoo. Don't jump into the polar bear tank, they're gonna kill you. And you're like, F them polar bears, dude. We had we had done a, a story recently, Pablo, where um, very similar to this, but not not quite. Where there was an elderly man, he was hunting a deer, right? And he was bow hunting using a just like a straight up bow and arrow, badass shit. All right, cool. I, I I respect that because I feel like you know a gun is a little bit. You already got one up on the animal with your with your human brain anyway. He goes bow hunting, injures the deer, but does not kill the deer. So then he proceeds to track the deer the he corners the deer the deer turns around what do you think the deer did defended its fucking self ends up mm -hmm. killing the old man rangers had to go find the deer put the deer down it the deer did what the deer was supposed <laughs> to do he would have done what I would have done in that situation exactly. if I was the deer. <laughs> yeah, it, well, if I'm in the woods and a hunter shoots me in the leg and I get away and he comes and finds me, I'm going to kill him too. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's you or me. What was the deer supposed to do when the deer has to run like a pussy now? The deer, <laughs> deer's got to just puss out and run. No. The deer was like, I've seen Bambi. I know how this shit is going to go now. <laughs> exactly. He was like, hey, okay, you got me. He took off the gloves, and he was like, let's go. The deer was like, lucky for me, the drive-in showed Bambi last week. I had never seen that before. Now I know what's going to happen. I... <laughs> oh, my God. So... Could you imagine the deer just watching Bambi right before that lead-up? It's like, <laughs> this is not going to happen. He's like, this will never happen to this me. This will like never. The deer had the same mindset. God, I love science fiction movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will never happen. Oh, shit. There's a man with a bow. Yeah. yeah. Guess I better hoof him to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! That do. would be uh, yeah. So that guy, you know, that happened this a while ago. Austin? This was in Austin. This was in a uh, Houston area. I think oh, it was like around, well, see, around there, Beaumont, Texas. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, that's some Beaumont shit. That's yeah. definitely some <laughs> Beaumont shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I guess like they said, the dude used to swim there all the time. He would go on these, and he did this at like two o'clock in the morning too. Like so, at the end of the bar night, oh, you know, like in nice. Austin, everyone's like, let's just fight in the streets. In Houston, they're mm -hmm. like, let's go swim with the Gators. He, he was drunk, dude. He was. Drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that. 
What, what's your saying? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I'm glad that wasn't recent. I thought that was recent. I was like, how did I miss that? I feel like yeah, that no, would have no, been no. all over the news. I mean, yeah. I guess at one point it was over all over the news. I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. I like to find the stuff that is messed up and re- rehash it because a man like that should never be forgotten. You know no, what I mean? That's an evergreen story, man. But uh, <laughs> it is. If anything, I hope that people walk away from this realizing that they should not jump into pools with gators. Um, yeah. Just don't swim in swamp water. I mean, that works too. That works too. Yeah. If you can't see the bottom of the water, it's probably not good to jump in it. Oh, I don't like jumping in pools. All those bodies, <laughs> you know, Pablo. We're, I mean, I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. Funny. Let's bring this up. Yeah, funny. I want to see where he's. Discussion. I want to know what you're feeling without any. Nobody's getting. We're not going to bait you into any answer here. Yeah. What mm-hmm. is your take on hot tubs? I like hot tubs. I do. Why is that? Uh, um, relaxing. You know, a little get a little jet fuels. They feel nice. You know. So would you get in a hot tub with your friends? I have been in hot tub with, with my friends. So where is this See, going? I love hot tubs too, dude. I I, I love hot tubs. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is disgusting. Do you not like getting in hot tubs with no, your friends? Absolutely not, dude. Sit yeah, in he, there with I don't, all the filth water with people. He said it's like a, it's like a uh, grown grown ass hot uh, bathtub for people. I, no, it's a dirty is ass it? bathtub. Everybody bathing in it. This is why I got my second monitor up here. Is being in a hot tub with friends nasty? No hot tub. No, listen, that doesn't even. That is not what I'm talking about. Hot tubs are nasty. Period. Well, I mean, they're chlorinated, dude. Oh, my yeah, God. that's Here what you it go is. with the chlorine shit again, dude. I don't care about the chlorine. Okay, I don't want you know, to say ball water that everybody else's balls are in. Are in. Wait, it, full disclosure: this man doesn't like swimming pools either. So it's it's no, not just hot it's water. water. I will say I don't like water theme parks. I hate that shit. Okay. But I think it's because it's like, see, at least with my friends. Okay, yeah, whatever. Maybe we are swimming in our filth, but we're not like picking our boogers and peeing in that shit. Hopefully oh not, at least. God. But <laughs> you think you think oh about water theme parks, you know damn well those little kids are just like... Oh, dude, it's 20% piss. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> and I'm drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, uh, I'm i not a big water park guy myself either. Like, or even water rides or, like, whatever. Like, nah, dude. Pool, I like, like, I'll go in the pool at my apartment complex, but I'm not going to, like, the local watering hole. Like, like, the, like, uh, like the, the Garrison Park pool and, like, paying $3 to get into the water. Oh, hole. Like, <laughs> pools, dude. Oh, did you know minorities swim, swim in those pools? Do I know what? <laughs> did you know minorities swim in those pools? Why would I care about that? You're trying to bait me, dude. <laughs> Why you I'm like, ba- yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, should, yeah, no, dude. What the fuck I have, have known Jonas for one year. He is not a racist. I can attest. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's yeah, threatening me. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am on this of my own accord. I am not in trouble. <laughs> yeah, dude. He just thinks. I told him. Okay, Pablo. What do you think about this? I told him that if you ask ten people if they liked hot tubs, like. What did I say? Eight or nine of them would be like, you said I like hot eight tubs. out of ten people fuck with hot tubs. I said maybe six out of ten. I think it's eight out of ten. I'm with eight out of ten. I think <laughs> once you start going nuts. with, I think once you start deciphering this shit and start talking about it out loud, then maybe people will be like, oh, fuck, hot tubs are disgusting. But if we're just doing like on a general pool, come on. Yeah, oh, well, you guys see like- what I did there? Yeah, general pool. I that that. I, got <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot not look at a hot tub and not think about just like all the like beads of sweat and like the unwashed ball particles. Yeah, but there's because filtration. you can't there's wash every fold of your balls. Yeah, but there's filtration. There's chemicals. They they get updated all the time, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my balls in a glass of water. We can put some chlorine in that water, and then I want you to wash your face with that same cup of water. <laughs> the defense the rest. The filtration defense rest. is going through that. Just I don't give a fuck. Chlorine. I'm still not washing my face with your ball water. <laughs> Facts, dude. I guess okay, I, I then. don't. Thank you. What if it was a bucket and there was a sponge in it that cleaned the water? <laughs> <laughs> what if one little squirt of piss comes out and your friend don't tell you? I mean, then you're just swimming in your friend's piss. You're telling me like, that you've never been in a pool and someone peed in it? 
I mean, yes, I've been in pools, but now I'm an adult and I have and I have ideals of my own, so now I don't do that shit anymore. And yeah, I get the ball water. Okay, if you don't get out of the pool to pee, that's a little lazy. I mean, amen to that, brother. <laughs> but I mean, I've been that guy who's peed in the pool before, so <laughs> take, that's why you don't want to go because you'd be the guy peeing in the hot tub. Hypocrite. <laughs> How am I a hypocrite? <laughs> He's just and trying to prevent swimming with other people. The way I'm thinking now is because I've been that guy. So I, why would I put it past anybody else to do it to me? You make a, a very valid part, point. You've dude. all peed gonna... in the pool before. Oh, Don't absolutely. Act like you haven't. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah, dude. You. I mean, last week I just peed in it outside of it just for fun. I used it as the, the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Beach. I'm like, well, beach. toilet works great in the house. Yeah, the beach, dude. The beach is just one giant toilet. There's oh, mercury really and toxic waste in it in that, mm-hmm. too, dude. Grow a third oh, arm. Never, never. So true. So dude, true. I love going in the hot tub, dude. After I would, pl- like, play volleyball for hours or go work out real hard, dude, getting in the hot tub, perfect, dude. Dirty Get all them hell. muscles. <laughs> skiing. Me and my buddies take a skiing trip every year in, like, you know, in Colorado and then go into the hot tub right after skiing all day. Oh, yeah? Best thing ever. Yeah, dude, it's nice. Yeah. Do you, you, like, do, you take a, do you take a shower before you get in the hot tub? No, I'm not no. a freak. Yeah, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Only freaks do this that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you wash all your dirt off in the hot tub so everybody else gets to enjoy your dirt, bro. That's so freaking disgusting. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. And all day. So gross. I feel like this pandemic has been really hard on you. This disease. You're just like, no, 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 no. no he was like this pre pandemic. Yeah, yeah, this, this is not a new development. <laughs> Yo, you know, what's you know, what's fucking crazy. I'm about to pump up uh, Jonas's ego real quick. Oh, Jesus. I have uh, I have 100 percent gone out with this guy at night with like a group of like four girls, one of them being a lesbian, and they will all come back to the apartment. And Jonas will be in the hot tub with four different girls, one of them being a lesbian, and all hot, mind you, all of them hot. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing because he, ain't, you know, like he's like he's a good looking guy, but he ain't fucking Brad Pitt or nothing. Because he's white. <laughs> <laughs> but no, listen, seriously, he'll be in the hot tub and they'll be like, "Hey, you want to go down to the hot tub? Me and uh." Brittany and Jocelyn and Samantha are all going to the hot tub. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll come and I'll sit on the outside of the hot tub. And yeah, he will. But yeah. I will not get in that motherfucker. <laughs> no way. No oh way. God. Yeah, dude. Even hey, with if, hot girls. Okay, okay, now let me let me tell you this. If me and like four bros were like, hey, let's go get in the hot tub, questionable. But if it, like you said, like if there's all these chicks, like why wouldn't I get in the hot tub? Because they might not wash their crotches out right, right, you know? It's the same, yeah. but the same goes for a dude. I would say the same thing about the dude. He's probably not washing his crotch out right. Maybe that's getting his crotch clean, though. That chlorine eats up a lot of stink, dude. Yeah, okay. You tell me when you come home with chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, that's something you should be searching, good bunny. Can you get STDs from a hot tub? From a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to write, search that up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, TNT, why don't you says, tell us, tell us about your story? I'm going to Google, okay. can you get STDs from a hot tub? All right, I'd be happy to bring up my story. We're moving on to the next one. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, dude, I'm going to try out the screen share thing because it was pretty cool when you did it. Let's see. Uh, most STDs cannot be spread from person to person through contact with toilet seats, swimming pools, at hot tubs, <clears throat> shared clothing, doorknobs, eating utensils, etc. Makes Boom. sense. Fair enough. But it does. It says most. So is can you get AIDS? most? <laughs> you just get the ones that you can't get rid of. AIDS and herpes. That's it. Don't you just have like an open sore on your freaking Johnson jumping in the hot tub, just bleeding all over the water, seeping through your. Oh skin. my god! I figured right. it would right. kill you. Anyway. Anyways, <laughs> all right. My story is about a new technology. <clears throat> so last month, Intel d- demoed a beta version of Bleep software. Are you guys familiar with this at all? No. Is I'm it, the it, the name actually Bleep, or did you Bleep? The name is actually Bleep. I, I have the screen share up. Is it showing up? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I'm just reading okay. from the article directly. Uh, bleep software demoed. Bleep is a specifically, or is, yeah, it's specific. I can't say the word. It's designed to combat <laughs> harmful language spewed online during gaming sessions. 
and has been developed oh, wow. since 2019, though it has not come to a wider attention. Okay, let's skip ahead here. With multiple sliders and toggles, bleep, the Bleep's interface is being designed to let people pick which hate speech it will filter out. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it has it has such things as racism or xenophobia, white nationalism, LBGTQ hate, and misogyny, and uh, allows the individual to slide between to block none, some, or most, or all of these things. Oh, wow. They even have misogyny. Look at that. Like, yeah. dude, I feel bad for girl gamers. It's it's the worst for them. And a simple <laughs> on-off switch in the UI to redact the N-word and all of its variations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh. They have to have a special so, N-word button. So <laughs> what I what I bring to you is are you freaking serious? It's dude, you know, okay, I can see it for children because you get you get like 40-year-old dudes on there playing Call of Duty with eight-year-old kids who got it for Christmas. And that like the, that different level of like okay. what you're able to understand, I get okay. that. Okay. But I don't know how the hell can there I don't know, dude. It's weird. It, well, you know, there's a little bit of a delay. We, we're we working with a little bit of delay here as well. So in that like half a second to a second of delay, it's going to recognize that a person is saying a word that has been blacklisted and it'll bleep over it. Good hmm. money. What do you, what do you, what's your, what's your take? What's your take before we so, get deep into this thing? We're going to crack it wide open here in a second. So basically if I'm, I'm still a little bit confused on what exactly it is. It's saying like if I, like it, like it's like audio like through the internet, right? Like if we say yeah, something, say, say you're gaming on your your PlayStation, and you're if somebody decides to get in there and they decide to say something hateful to you, they call you a son of a bitch. <laughs> if you have that slider slid up to block the <laughs> B word out, they're not that bitch is going to be replaced with one of the beats that you would hear on the. <laughs> A network television movie that was rated R in theaters, but the oh TV my god, I'd rather be called a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you beep the beep, yeah. beep, <laughs> would be like, beep. what the fuck is he saying? Did he just call me <laughs> something well, yeah, racial? He called you charged. a bitch, or he called you a racial slur, or exactly. Called- or whatever like you you at least you want i want to know the hate that i'm yeah hearing. i want to know the hate especially if i'm trash talking back I agree. <laughs> so i like, need to know where the barrier is set like is this just like friendly or are we saying yo mama jokes what <laughs> all right See, so i there, think okay go ahead, go i think ahead. it's good for eight like age for under 18 mm-hmm. that's perfect like even like i could see even like it being used for women because it's such a toxic experience for them like i've been in many games where like the second a person comes on the mic and they sound female it's either hey baby yada yada or show me or get out of here or whatever so like i could see it for that because if they're just like hey let's i just want to have an experience where i don't have to like hear all this <laughs> crap yeah but, but or even like i mean just racial because you didn't every- hear it doesn't mean that it's not happening Oh, right, right. It's The problem is the toxicity in general, not the being able to hear it or not. All right, so the argument that I've heard is that, uh, are you familiar with the term that everybody hates Mondays? I mean, I hate uh, I mean, like, is it like like the whole, like, who got a case of the Mondays? Like that? Or like, is it there like a, no. a hidden meaning behind it? No, what okay. What you don't understand is that Mondays is a... a Sub subway subliminal way of saying that you hate black people. Why the hell is that? How is that a euphemism? Go ahead and Google it up yourself at home. I'm not gonna put it on my screen. But <clears throat> so <laughs> everybody hates Mondays. When people realize that they couldn't get away necessarily with saying the N-word to people. There was a uh, it happened at I believe a, a sporting event where somebody said that. Well, everybody hates Mondays to one of the to to the players, and he actually ended up getting in a little bit of trouble over it because they were like, "Wait a minute, you're basically just saying that you don't like him because he's black." Um, okay. The thing, the thing that I'm getting at here is that hatred is going to find a way to bypass mm-hmm. the system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I can't say the N word or any of its uh, ancillaries, but I can say something different. And then if it'll you, just spawn a new language of hate. Yeah. I knew a streamer, because um, I watch a little bit of Twitch. Um, I knew a streamer that <laughs> banned the word boat in his stream. And people 
came up with some pretty ingenious ways. It was just like, it was a meme thing that he banned the word boat in the stream. And if you <laughs> typed the word boat, you would get banned or whatever. People came up with some very interesting ways to incorporate watercraft into their into their speech because they couldn't mm -hmm. say boat. So no matter what word you t tell people they can't say, fine, we can't say those words. We'll think of a different way to say it. One that you can't catch us with. See yeah, you next I Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, dude. Well, I just think, yeah, it, uh, that kind of, yeah, it's like there's always loopholes to any rule. People yeah. will figure out a way. Yeah. For the record, I just want to let the podcast know that when I, where I said I hate Mondays, I was talking about the day, not about a certain <laughs> race. Yeah. When I said I have a case of the Mondays, I didn't mean that what he was talking about. Yeah. Either. I was just as shocked as all the listeners out there. All but right. I did I look just it don't up like going to work. There's something else for you to get triggered about. So that that's my idea about it is like just because and if anything, I feel like trying to censor people or like I don't I don't know how far this this whole technology is going to get. But when you try to censor people, they're just going to think of ways to work around it because, I mean, the human brain again. Yeah, it's not all it's about like a, jumping in alligators. It's a fine line, right? I mean, I think that is also comes with like what's happening now with like freedom of speech and people like not being able to say things because they're getting canceled um, for like thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, it reminds me. I, I guess I get, and I guess I get what you're saying. TNT might, right? TNT right, dynamite, so, yeah. TNT dynamite. Just check. You got, you got um, it. Uh, <laughs> but I get what you're saying you know because I remember doing. anybody watch Black Mirror up in here. I've watched was, some of it. This was actually, they said this is not from Black Mirror. But go ahead. They, they mentioned yeah, Black no, well, there's a, if for viewers out there or listeners out there, uh, Black Mirror is like a trippy show where like technology has like this weird alternate, like dark reality on ourselves. Mm -hmm. But there's an episode where um, the, these people live in a world where they're kind of ranked by a score, kind of like Ubers, right? Like you give, you score your Uber driver. So your Uber driver has like, Oh, the point. social ranking score. Yeah. The social I've ranking. Score. Yeah. 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 So you know what I'm talking about. Similar to this. Oh, and where, where were we? China. China. It's real. Something very similar. Yeah. 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 And so then, but if you look at the, if you guys remember that episode at the end of the episode and the girl's finally like allowed to like be herself like she's finally as crazy as dark as it is she's able to like just like start yelling and say curse words and she it's like she's finally living whereas this whole time she has been feel, like really fake because mm -hmm. she's been constrained to i don't know but that's yeah. what i remind it's it's always like that fine line between like how much do we want to be censored and how much are we going to be allowed mm -hmm. to say? Yeah, I saw an article just the other day that said, I think it was the EU that is going to officially ban AI and social ranking systems for uh, like AI for like surveillance and social ranking systems so that it so they can't even they want to ban it before it even becomes a thing. You mean like on social media? Like no more updates on Reddit? No, no, no. Like like so what china has done does not spread to other countries oh, in the okay. eu like okay. Okay. yeah because in china like they, they do stuff where they ban you from being able to take flights and like you can't, can't go get good colleges. jobs you can't yeah. get a certain colleges like if you're and they shame you publicly and stuff hey hot take i mean the u.s kind of has that already with credit scores i'm just yeah. saying yeah i mean <laughs> it's, a, it's a very uh underground like oh you want a good interest rate Pfft get out of here defraud uh, uh i can't think of a word you know what i mean yeah uh, yeah you fucked up when you were 18 it. sorry <laughs> yeah oh you got you. a credit card when you were 18 and let it go to collections sorry now you're paying 30 percent interest on your house loan yeah you're not wrong Shit. definitely tells you if you're good with money or not mm -hmm. all right well that that was that was very uh sobering the other take that i have with this with the same okay. technology let's shift gears a little bit <clears throat> What happens if you're playing with a group of your friends? You've all known each other for a while. And say it's me, me, uh, Good Bunny, and Jonas. We're all playing. We're playing Halo, dude. We're in there. No, mm, fuck that. that. We're, play, we're playing Valorant, you know? And I'm I'm on a kill streak. I just got an ace last one. And you're like, hell yeah. And I hear Jonas eating chips. What's your favorite type of chip, Jonas? Mm. Let's say your favorite, your favorite kind of chip is salt and... Vinegar, he gets a bleep. Oh, because it was similar. Because he enough. said, because he said vinegar. Uh. Oh, <laughs> or people would just start saying vinegar to like because it's like a variant of vinegar is gonna get yeah. you a bleep because vinegar 
is a bleepable mm-hmm. offense. What happens if your friend is just talking about going out to the garden and he gets a bleep? And we're like, wait a minute. I've got the N-word slider turned on, Jonas. <laughs> what the hell did you say? And Jonas is like, no, dude, I swear I didn't say it. We're like, no, nah, Jonas, you you just said it, dude. Why, wow, are you dropping N-bombs now? <laughs> you're off yeah. the CSGO team, bro, because you can't say that word. I'd be like, I said, I said the B word. I promise. <laughs> oh no, the B word slider is on. I have it on moderate, so you can. And then, the and then you word. try to say yourself. You're like, dude, I just said vinegar. I just no. said vinegar, and it's like, <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> now you're like, holy, <laughs> you're like, wow, you're really showing your true colors, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Man, God, AI is so interesting. AI, am dude. We've had a lot of scary AI stories on this podcast over the years. <laughs> The thing oh, is, is that there was a there was a game called Lifeline that came out for I don't remember if it was like PlayStation One or PlayStation Two, and it was a it was a Japanese game. It was called Lifeline, and uh, in order to get the voice activity working on this game, you would have to say Lifeline into the microphone. But us being Americans, if we said Lifeline, it wouldn't work. But if you got oh. on the microphone and you said Rifeline. Because of the recognize. because the of game the would recognize you say oh my god. So you had to speak like making fun of someone else's accent essentially to you had to fully go into it. You had to fully go into this like because it, does, it doesn't recognize the, the L sound from America, yeah, because it, it's pronounced differently in a different country. You had to wow. say <laughs> in order to get the game to work properly damn so there, there's just there's just a lot of room for error so now they've been developing for some time i don't know how how well it's going to be received i don't know if it's going to be like integral or like inducted into like uh the new systems or consoles or mm-hmm. steam is going to activate i don't know but it is by intel they demoed it so yeah it's, it's like a it's real like a high high-end it. company yeah yeah, yeah. Hmm. it's so crazy I feel like uh, a lot of these, a lot of these like censorship things. I, what actually makes me have a little bit of faith in humanity is that they're they're having a, a harder time getting like gaining traction because people for these, you know, there's a lot of devil's advocates on this stuff. They're like, okay, I see it's good, but like, you, you gotta. I mean, if you don't want to hear those things, don't go to areas where you might hear those things. You know what I mean? It's like it. It Maybe sucks the online mindset that we have, but it's gonna happen regardless because people are ignorant, dude. Unfortunately. Online though, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <clears throat> you know, I mean, like mm, me, me and Jonas are, are a little bit older than uh, than uh, Good Bunny here, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, Halo. Oh my, rooms, I was just about to bring this up, dude. Call of Duty chat rooms. Oh my god. Insane. I got called. I got called the N word every day of my life, every day back then. It was it was super ignorant back then because there wasn't you couldn't even really report anybody for being ignorant back then. They got the reporting came out many many years later, but yeah, it was bad. And like, do I feel like like less of a person? Am I like? I don't really feel like it affected me too much. I'm just like, oh well, I realize that a lot of people are racist. <laughs> fucking surprise! Surprise! <laughs> yeah, surprise. <laughs> You hit mm-hmm. me with the N-word, I hit you with something clever. It's like, the thing is, to me, is that, like, the N-word is like, oh, I'll get a reaction. But then I get to be creative. I come back with this soliloquy, this fucking Mozart, Chopin, fucking orchestra of insult. And all you got <laughs> is the N-word. <laughs> yeah, Fucking it's... sad. Fucking sad. <laughs> Honestly. Because you're uncreative. That's all you got. True. Yeah. How yeah. many times did you say? How many times did you call somebody the N word on Halo, Jonas? Be real, tell us. <laughs> Ever, you, you can tell. You can tell us, man. You're in good I can, company. Dude, you, you know, I do not talk like that, dude. <laughs> Get out just, of here. I, just say you didn't. Then <laughs> I denounce racism and white supremacy. <laughs> see, see how easy that is. <laughs> how old were you guys when you were playing Halo? My ass, being a four year old, was like, "Hey." Let's stop racism, guys. Let's, <laughs> let's let's not call each other that shit. <laughs> <A> little four year old. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was it was it was like the wild damn west when that that online chat thing first came out. Oh my god. 
it was just like people like screaming and playing bad MIDI music off their cell phones through the microphones. <laughs> and like, oh, just, you it, a lot of that, man. Oh my God, it was you terrible. Every every that. lobby was just like everyone playing every song as loud as they could through the microphone. Because, you know, you love to hear other people's music. Nothing I love more than hearing somebody else's music. Yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely think that uh, it, it like you you brought up the point that it'd be this this technology would be good for kids. I think that that is true. It would be good for kids, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's gonna work for like an adult or even like a teen, even a teenager. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I'm just picturing know. people like I mean, knowing my immature ass. Whenever I was a teenager, I would be having a blast, like just like. S- just having everything censored, like just being like beep beep, <laughs> like just that sound with all your friends. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I, well, yeah, I always too strict. Go ahead, Pablo. No, nothing. I was just saying, like, yeah, like I would not, like, I think it. We'd be making a game out of it if that was the case, which I don't know if that would be <laughs> as effective or not. I'm just thinking, like, teenagers, you know how they think. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff yeah. is always too. It's too specific because I had it. We had an issue. Like, I was married and had stepkids for a little while, and they were looking up things they shouldn't have been looking up on their tablets and their computers and things. So we had to put like. um uh censorship stuff on it so they couldn't look at certain things well then it came around they're like doing schoolwork and they had to come out like five times they're like hey i'm trying to do this project i can't get into this website because it, it had a mm. on it or something you know it's like and we're just trying to block like porn and stuff like that and they had to come out like five times just to get the password to get on any website so mm-hmm. i feel like it would work but it would be it would be over doing it like the kids mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to talk to each other yeah i feel like kids throw out swear words because they don't even know what they mean they just hear like their parents use them yeah for sure for sure so so, so you, you guys aren't downloading this onto your uh onto your computers oh i already have it i haven't heard anything you guys have been saying the whole podcast <laughs> <laughs> i'm just getting i know started. it's just been slur after slur after slur out of your guys' mouths uh good money you have brought up cancel culture Mm-hmm. I kind of, I kind of want to hear your take on it. Uh, I don't, I don't believe in cancel culture. I think, okay. you know, I think we're kind of getting to the era now where like a lot of people are doing stuff online, right? Like, I mean, you can dig into my past. Not saying like stuff, but maybe stupid shit I've done. Posted friend like drunk ass pictures of my friends, maybe, or just said like a dumb post, and anything of that can get resurfaced. Like, if you think about it, like all these future like presidents and Senate leaders and House of Representative leaders, whatever you want to call them, they're going to have so much dirt on them. Like before, you know, it was like, who can we have like the dirt, like the dirtiest dirt? Like obviously there's still going to be like stuff that people do in the past that should never make them like a political figure. But if you got trashed one night and, you know, (laughs) your friends sharpied like tick head on top of you or something like that, like that just kind of seems like it's, um, those stuff is bound to happen and that shouldn't really be affecting you in the future or something. Cause people can easily take that and be like, Oh, well he's not mature and blah, blah. Like, well, he probably wasn't mature for his time. I do think that there should be, if you do say something or do something, you should probably go away for a while. Uh, like a couple of things that I just see just happening. Um, was that like the bachelor controversy with the host? I don't know if you guys heard Chris Harrison uh-huh. or he was, Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what happened was this: um, one of the contestants on The Bachelor, like pictures came out where she was, as recent as 2018, she attended a plantation party, um, and oh, she was dressed, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. She was dressed like that. in a cotillion or whatever those things are called, like those plantation dresses or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, dude, you fucked up, and that was like two years ago, like that. Come on, so I'm like, you need to go away for a while. But then the host came of the bachelor and it was like defending her to the core and the stuff he said it was just like if you guys i would recommend go watching the interview the stuff he was saying was just like trying to defend her he was like was this not a good look in 2020 or is this or like was this not a good look in 2018 or was this not a good look in 2020 and it's like bro it's never not a good look look. never (laughs) right right. like the stuff you're saying is just like terrible and so thankfully he's going away for a while yeah i'm Uh, looking for a new host to the bachelor too Yeah. yeah yeah And so it's it's cases like that where I'm just like, I mean, I get, I think the responsible thing for him to do is like go away. I think that's what he did. Um, I don't know. Cancel culture is just so interesting to me, though. Well, like, there's it, a difference between you. It's like it's a difference of like you accidentally said something ignorant, and a difference of like who you really are is coming out to the surface. Mm-hmm. Because like you know, sometimes you'll say something ignorant, but if you're saying racist stuff. 
Like people who aren't racist don't say racist things. Don't defend racist culture. Like mm -hmm. there's no like excuse of like, oh, well back, you know, back then, that, you know, especially if you're like grown, if it's one thing, if you were like 15 and you put a racist thing on like a tweet or something and you're like, I didn't know any better. I didn't realize what I was doing. But if you're yeah. a grown ass man on a host in a reality show who has a public following and you're like, what do you mean? I don't see what the prop like, bro. <laughs> If you don't see what the problem is, you have a problem. Like, yeah. But you know, it's like, and that's the problem. It's like your your generation, Pablo. You guys have had social media your entire life. Where yeah. we, it didn't become a big deal until we were grown enough to kind of know better a little bit. And even when we first started, no one was on it. So it was like, yeah. you could put whatever the hell you wanted on it, and yeah. no one's gonna look at it. You know, and mm -hmm. and even back then with MySpace, everything on MySpace got deleted because of like they they lost it. But like. That was the the oldest social media that I had that maybe I don't even think I put anything ignorant on there, but you never know. You you don't remember what you did when you were 20 or whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess my take on it is that I don't like even calling it cancel culture. I like to call it consequence culture. Mm -hmm. yeah, culture okay. now where you look, are you allowed to say whatever you want? Yes, you can, but you got to pay to you reap the consequences for what you say. Mm -hmm. Jonas, when I go to work, you could scream the N word at the top of your lungs in this apartment, and guess what? Nobody would know. Nobody would say. You could go into your room right now and say it under your breath 15,000 times. Mm -hmm. If I don't hear you, there's no consequence. But right. when you scream it into the ether of the internet so that everybody can either look at it, consume it, read it, uh, yeah, people are going to have a fucking problem with that. And depending mm -hmm. on what companies you work for, yeah, they don't want to be associated with a person that's stupid enough to put that type of shit out there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about racism. I'm talking about whether it be uh, certain political takes, whether it be uh, your certain feelings about uh, people's gender preferences or uh, sexual preferences or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If these people would just keep their fucking mouth shut, then it wouldn't be an issue. Like I said, you can be, you can hate homosexuality all you want in your own house feel fucking free as soon as you decide to open up your fucking laptop and type on twitter that you can't stand uh homosexuals then guess what yeah you're gonna have to pay the fucking consequences for that and yes it can cost you your job and as soon as you decide to walk into look as soon as somebody pulls out a cell phone and starts uh recording you yelling the n-word at somebody or attacking somebody because mm -hmm. over the over the color of skin or their, their sexual preferences or whatever it's probably in your best interest to just walk away because no company wants to deal with that. Most people don't want to deal with that type of person. And any mm -hmm. people that have light views of yours and that are just like, oh, it's freedom of speech. Yeah, it's freedom of speech, but it's also freedom of consequence. You know what also you got the freedom to do? You got the freedom to go out in the parking lot and steal a car right now. If you get caught, guess where you're going? If you don't get caught, free car. Right? It's Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, not, it's the same thing as a crime. Yeah, it's not canceling. It's consequence, consequences mm -hmm. for your actions. If you're dumb enough to put it out there where everybody can see it, hey, mm -hmm. stop going on Twitter. <laughs> stop it. Right. It's that easy. Nobody's yeah. forcing you to go on Twitter and tell everybody how you feel about QAnon. <laughs> Nobody's yeah, doing that. Nobody's yeah, that's where like my, no, yeah, it's some really good points, um, Dynamite. Um, what I was going to say was just like, and that's where I feel like that whole thing of just like walking, you have to walk away at that point, because like you said, there is no explanation for those actions that can justify like what you did, what you said. Uh, so it's best to just take the L the second you just try to start defending it, bro. You're looking like, you're looking like a racist. You're looking homophobic. You're looking like you're ignorant. So just, oh, the second you try to justify ignorant behavior, you look five times as bad as you did when you just said the exactly. shit and got caught. <laughs> yeah. like, like it's one thing to say it but it's another to be like i only did it and it's okay because xyz yeah and, exactly and I, I just don't understand like I, I tell people all the time i tell people apologies are free all right yeah sure you gotta swallow your pride but pride is bullshit all right mm -hmm. fuck your pride pride is bullshit go and tell a person you're sorry man that's free
and then they look at you like you're like you like you did something like that's all you really can do in that, in that mm -hmm. situation hey mm -hmm. look i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that i didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings and then you get to keep it moving everybody is either, either you accept the apology or you don't but guess what i apologize and the world is going to be like well he did say he was sorry mm -hmm. i mean obviously if the mm -hmm. behavior is consistent or it keeps right, happening right. or reoccurring then that's an issue but for the most part apologies are free yeah i mean yeah if you notice in all the big scandals if someone just owns up immediately it's almost forgotten immediately like look at all it like the home be. run steroid arrow stuff like the people like alex rodriguez he got caught doing steroids he's like i did it i'm sorry no one thinks twice about it i'll Barry Bonds, all those guys that are like, I never took steroids. You're like, everyone's like, bro, we know you took steroids. Just say you're sorry. Just say you did it. And but now you're gonna dig your fucking heels in the sand, and now you're now you're like, everyone knows you're just a liar. Yeah, like you look like a, you look like a bigger asshole when you deny or you try to explain your way out of it, or you're like, no, I'm not a bad. This, yo, I did it. My fault. All right, mm -hmm. can I go have cake now? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Congrats, you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you can go have your 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 racist cake. So, all right, let me uh, let me get let me see. We got time for another story here. So, there was a lady. It's from a Littleton, New Hampshire. Her name is Lisa Landon. She uh she was in a little bit of trouble with the law. She uh she had gotten trouble for uh she was a, had some stalking charges, some drug charges. Uh, and she was like, you know, what I'm in trouble. Uh, meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she also, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had some possession of meth before. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. So she's like, so as any good meth, good hearted meth addict would do, she decided the best way to get rid of these charges was to impersonate the prosecutor and dismiss the charges on herself at the court. Genius. Genius. So. So if you're curious what this fine young lady looks like, let me oh, show you. I am, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's... There she is. Oh, right there at the top. I was really hoping it was good. I was really hoping, um, Jonas, that you were going to crop a picture of dynamite onto some old lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I should have done that. So, yeah. So she um, so she did that. And I guess she was able to do it because she did She's it online. Cutie, be because, of, uh, because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're, they were doing a lot of their work online. So she did it online. Uh, obviously, the real prosecutor is like, why are these charges flipping dropped? Um, so now she has, like, she had, yeah, she ended up with, like, charges of, like, fraud. And what else did it say here? Uh, falsifying documents, uh, falsifying physical evidence. Uh, yeah, dude. So, <laughs> but, you know, it's like the thought process of a person that thinks that this would actually work. Tells you everything that you need to know about the people that are involved. Like, who thinks it thinks it's gonna? You know what I'll do? What I'll do? I'll dismiss my own charges. That'll work for me. The I'll size, be free. The size of the testicles on this woman, <laughs> right? Well, like, Bigger balls than I got, be, dude. They've got to be huge to walk into the courtroom <laughs> scratching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. picking your face. <laughs> like, yeah, the charges are dismissed. She her oh, her skin is impeccable. Honestly, she doesn't really even have any sores. But she, you know, anyways. Or maybe she just like doesn't know. Like maybe it wasn't even that she had a big ball thing. Maybe she genuinely thought it was a great idea. Like, <laughs> she like just nobody's. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just she was probably like, <laughs> hold up, Jimmy <laughs> Neutron moment, brain blast. <laughs> she's either she's either the stupidest person ever or a genius. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like it's so interesting to me. It reminds me, like I don't know. It reminds me. And this is gonna take a good dark turn. But like the the, the whole Ted Bundy situation. Mm -hmm. Like at one point, he just decided to throw. Like he was his own. What is it like? Uh, defense attorney or whatever. Like for his murders. Mm -hmm. Um. So I was just like, that's so. Like, people genuinely think like that. Obviously, his is a very extreme case because he was a murderer, but... Is that, is that ego, though? I feel like I think that's in her ego. case... He had, like, an ego problem. Too. Yeah, I think in mm -hmm. her case, her and her, her and her friends are smoking meth. They're, like, passing the light bulb back and forth. And she's like, you know what, Lisa? You know what you should do? Why don't you just go into the court and cancel your, cancel your case? She's like... Yeah. Oh my God, I'm doing that in the morning, y'all. And then she like, 
<laughs> it just went <laughs> dead, dude. Wait a minute, Joe. Show me that picture again. Uh, hold on. Here she is. Uh, there she is. Real beaut. Let me right. let me see now, if I can. Now flip back to you. <laughs> now flip back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get a real nice. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> but yeah. where's she, where's the? Oh, it's she, blocked. I can't move over. She is a lovely lady. I just yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, dude, you got to be out of your fucking gourd to think you. Can she has walk a nice a smile door. though. She's she looks like she she doesn't have her teeth out though because that's the real question. She's like, mm. bro, you know mm-hmm. those teeth are fucked up. She doing all those jobs. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart. Yeah, she's like, no, it's yeah. not pretty. Yeah, yeah, um, dude, exactly. So I don't know, man. Like, and, and you make a really great po- uh, point, uh, Good Bunny. It sometimes, like, I think it's, the thing happens is, like, if you're not that dumb, it's hard for you to even imagine being dumb enough to think that a thought process like that could be real. It's like they say ignorance is bliss, and when you're that stupid, you really don't know any better. You really think people are going <laughs> to fall for it? Mm-hmm. It might work. Nah. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I look, honestly, if she got away with it, it would have been great. It would have been a crime of the century. Yeah. She, she could yeah. have signed all the documents and just walked out of there a free woman. <laughs> <laughs> Went out and celebrated by buying a meth rock. Oh, my God. A dude. meth rock? I don't know. Is it coming in rock form? Dude, I don't know. I don't do meth. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, dude. Powder, rock, rock whatever, dude. I, that shows my ignorance to meth. I'm looking it up right now. Here comes the fibby. It's like a masonry brick of, ro- of meth. <laughs> Does meth come in block Joe, form? Joe, I don't I know if you want that in your Google history, man. What are you doing? No, oh, dude, they know. I do. They don't. They already know all the stuff I look up, dude. It's fine. Pablo, so what's on top of it? What's what, up? I was gonna say, what's your take on meth? On meth? Well, I haven't <laughs> done it. <laughs> um, but if I want to ruin my life one day, you know, I'll <laughs> hit, you, hit you up, dynamite. You yeah, hit me up. I don't know where to get the shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you know what'd be a great thing to do? Ruin my entire life. Everything I've worked for sounds pretty uh, awesome. Mm-hmm. I was um oh sorry. Well, if you guys don't mind me changing gears here a bit. Oh, I go was, ahead. Just to kind of wrap things up, I was just gonna, I, I was gonna wanted to share with you guys some stuff I have from our improv time together, just to throw some stuff. Oh, back. oh there you go. Memory lane. Oh wow, you got like a notebook, dude? Like, yeah, like man. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote down stuff we were doing in improv classes. Oh, look uh, at that, dude! All right, let's, uh, okay. yeah, let's this let's reminisce. A- we got, we got, we got a few minutes left. Yeah, let's wrap this it up this way. Oh, yeah. Well, we got um, Tom Booker, you know, our good boy, Tom Booker. I remember he, TV. Yeah. TV. He, used to, he used to teach Bill Hader. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. We were t- I was Very thinking about trying to get uh, Tom on the podcast to interview him so he can name drop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, name drop. He loves Very doing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we had – and then for Improv 301, we had Clifton Highfield. Remember that? <gasps> Cliff. That was his name, dude. Clifton. Yep. I'm I'm sure sure get Joe. Not yeah, sorry. Name. Yes, Improv 101 teacher Joe Shalvin. She's awesome. She loved to she get her on too. She loved Dynamite. She was obsessed with him. Um <laughs> there was a there was just I wrote down a scene that Brett and I did. It was like the three line scene. We had to just and you said, or I said, I can't believe we're finally leaving this foster home. And then Brett said, Now we have to live under a bridge. And I said, <laughs> But now we can finally bond. Three person, <laughs> three line scene. Aww. Uh Jonas also, is really good at improv. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is really good at improv. Um, I had Dynamite was it wasn't there for our show, but I had the scenes that people did. Um, uh, uh, Jonas did a scene with our fellow improvisers Kevin and David about potholes. You remember that? Nope. That, you dude, don't remember that? Okay. Full disclosure. Hold on a second. I talked to the teachers about this. When it's like the way improv worked for me is like I would do the scene and it would get done and I would just not remember anything like about what we did. We do that with a podcast or our videos all the time. I'll be like, TNT, what do we talk about in that in that video? And he'll be like, dude, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, potholes. OK, potholes. There was a scene you did with Melody and Kevin and you had a great line. It's about Kevin joining the band and he was pregnant whenever he joined the band, oh. and you said, babies fill every hole in your soul. I, <laughs> I remember, he's like, I have a hole in my soul. That yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Because uh, Cliff made me write it on the wall in class. Yeah, yeah. 
so but some good stuff and then me i have a scene that me and dynamite did where he was is it gonna be the one i think it is where i was your boyfriend <laughs> i thought you were the mafia <laughs> member was that it it's the one where you were the, where i was your boyfriend and I, and I proposed or something oh yeah 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 that's it that's the same it said i did a skit with dynamite having to do with being an italian mafia leader's bitch <laughs> I, dude, I just i don't remember any i wish we would have recorded those dude why didn't we do that that's why i uh, looked stuff down man because i knew i was gonna forget them but it was some good times i amazing. missed those improv classes oh yeah dude yeah. if we uh once improv time. gets back on dude if we're all gonna if we ever want to get back into it we should try to get in the same classes again <laughs> we should just try to figure out the same one dude there was one that joe was gonna teach at a different school uh right when before pandemic hit and i reached i told dynamite and i, and I was like Dude, we should do this improv with Joe. And like I was gonna try to get like you and some other people to go do it at yeah, this other That's more like been. Tim and Kevin and yeah. A lot yeah. of real standouts in the in the class. We were gonna try to get them together. <laughs> oh, and have Joe like, as a teacher again. I like we called ourselves Bible Jam for listeners. <laughs> and I honestly felt like we had we had some talent, man. Especially with like a lot of the strong improvers that we had in that class man we could we could have taken that shit somewhere we could have yeah it was good we had some really funny stuff dude i was excited i mean we were about to do our last level of improv and i was dude i was so pumped to get to that like cutting your own scenes and like yes dude that was gonna be sweet i was got taken uh, yeah and i was like oh well the class will start like in two weeks so this is nice (laughs) yeah we'll postpone it till the end of summer and it's like oh here we are Yeah, yeah, so yeah, dude. But yeah, I'm definitely want to get back in when things are normal. So, but for sure, for sure. anything else? Any closing words, Pablo? Anything you want to you want to touch about before we wrap it up for today? No, nah, man, this was fun. Please have me back again sometime. Would love to keep talking about this. I feel like there's definitely things we could have dived into deeper. I love talking about that cancel culture stuff. Oh, um, yeah, dude. I loved finding out that Jonas is a racist. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fun though. I mean, uh, this definitely hit me back up whenever we. Cool, do this cool. Again. TNT. Any closing remarks? Um, I just want to say is that it was great to have you on, Pablo. Man, we will definitely have you back on again. Man, this was a lot of fun, man. And Absolutely. I really appreciate you bringing back some of those memories because I have a <laughs> yeah. hard time remembering anything yeah. that happened two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago, I don't remember shit, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so also, yeah, I do also want to uh, thank Pablo for joining us. It was great to have you on here. Good bunny, sorry. Uh, but, you know, that is all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, but for Jonas. TNT. And for our Good boy, bunny. Good Bunny. GBZ. We are out. <laughs>